In this video today, I'm gonna to show you my top 10 keyboard shortcuts in Serato DJ Pro. Let's get into it. What's going on people? I go by the name of DJ CB, and on this channel, we help bedroom DJs transition over to a club DJ. If you like the sound of that, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, and don't forget to hit that bell notification to get notified every single time I post a video. Right, so the first keyboard shortcut that I always use in every single set is Command Left and Command Right. What that basically does is load the track on the left deck or the right deck. So let me show you. So if you see in Serato now, I've got one one tune selected so if I press command and left you can see that it loads onto the left deck and if I do command and right you can see that it loads onto the right deck I like to use the keyboard shortcuts when I'm DJing because I don't want to have to move my mouse and drag them over it just takes up even more time so I feel like this is one of the most important keyboard shortcuts that you need to know as a Serato DJ Pro user so the next keyboard shortcut is Q and A Q and A will reverse the track or make it turn around the correct way on the left or right deck have you ever been DJing before you've typed something on your keyboard and the track has started reversing what Watch this. Have you ever done that before and panicked during a set and didn't know how to change it back? Well, on the left deck, to change the direction of the song, you press Q and you can see here that the play button is now reversed and now it's forward again. So you need to know this. And on the right deck, if you press A, you can see that it's reversed now and then it's back to forward playing. Get to know this keyboard shortcut because when you're typing on the keyboard searching for songs and then you accidentally press A or Q, it's gonna reverse, so you need to know this one. The next keyboard shortcuts that you need to know are playing your samples from the keyboard. So you see all the keys at the bottom, so you got Z, X, C, V, B, N, M, and the first comma. All these shortcuts will trigger your sound effects or your samples in your sample back. Let me show you a demonstration on screen right now. You're locked into the sounds of CB. Come on, come on, come on. The next keyboard shortcut that I use is, this is probably the second most used keyboard shortcut that I use during my sets, is locating last track. So say for example, you have played Labrook Grove on the right hand side, and then you've got I'm Every Woman on the right hand side. You're scrolling, 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 looking for another song. Then now you wanna get back to the tracks that are currently loaded up. If you press Command and L, it will take you back to the first track on the left hand side. And if you press Command and L again, it will take you to the track on the right hand side. If you press Command L again, left hand side, Command L again, right hand side. This is a good way of when you're searching and you can't find a track, to go back to the tracks that are currently playing and have a look again. This is a great shortcut, so I do suggest that you use this in your DJ sets. The next keyboard shortcut that I know a lot of DJs don't know is the undo shortcut. So say for example, a track is playing and then you're searching, scrolling, scrolling, and then you've accidentally loaded the track on the wrong side like this. What you can do is press Command and Z, it'll undo that track load and then go back to the previous song that I was currently playing. And it will also put it back to the same position that it was in. A lot of DJs accidentally load tracks on the wrong deck. So if you press Command and Z, which is undo, it will undo that track load and take you back to the track that I was currently playing. This also works on both sides. So if you accidentally load it on the right hand side, you can press Command Z and it will change it back for you. Another simple shortcut that most of you should know is a delete from a crate shortcut, which is simply, you find a song that you don't want in the crate, press Command and Delete, and it will delete the track out of the crate for you. In relation to the delete track shortcut, you can also delete a track completely from your computer in Serato. So if you press Command, Shift and Delete, that will actually delete the track from the folder that it actually lives in on your computer and send it to the trash. Another great keyboard shortcut that I use in every single set is sending tracks to the prepare window. If you're currently at a DJ set and you're scrolling, through a crate, you might see a song that you wanna play later. So what you can do is press Command and P and it will add it to the prepare folder. Again, you can scroll down, you're currently playing a song, you're scrolling, you're like, oh, do you know what? I can play this song later. Let me add it to my prepare folder. Again, Command P, scroll down, Command P. This is a great way to forward plan in your sets. Another keyboard shortcut that I don't really use that much myself, but I feel like I need to start using it, is moving the cursor to the search box. So if you see, you're scrolling through your tracks and you can't find the track that you want. Instead of getting your mouse and then moving it over to the search box over here like that, what you can do is press Command and F, and it will take you in there, then you can start typing the track that you want. Another keyboard shortcut that a lot of DJs don't know about is an instant double to the certain deck. 
So say for example on the right hand side you're playing this song Sorry I Don't Know but you wanna move it over to the left hand side, you can press Command Shift and then the direction you want it to go. So in this example we're gonna go left and it doubles over and starts playing the track on that side. And the good thing about instant doubles is if you're currently playing a track on the right hand side and then you do Command shift and then left it will also start playing the track from the exact same position and then what you can do is move over the crossfader to that side and then start loading up another track on your right side this is a really good thing to use if you're really comfortable on just one deck for example i'm really comfortable scratching on my right hand so what i'll do is i'll scratch on my right hand play the track instant double it to the left hand side and then get myself prepared to then load again on, on deck two this is just a good way if you're comfortable on one side or the other those are my top 10 shortcuts in serato dj pro if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up if you haven't done so already make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and don't forget to hit that bell notification to get notified every single time I post a video. If you want six months Mixcloud Pro at 25% off, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description down below. Clicking that link will take you to a checkout which will give you 25% off for the next six months on Mixcloud Pro. Also, if you're interested in any sound effects, I said a sound effects pack for five pounds. It has 158 sound effects, including the glass smash sound effect that every single DJ wants. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at DJC underscore B. I post there regularly. With that being said, I go by the name of DJCB and we're out.